Believe it or not, this is actually a continuation of my gas pill, gas spill saga. One of the victims of the gas spill was my old uh, Energizer headlight, which, man, I have had great luck with these things, the, the push-button style. You find them at Walmart for less than 20 bucks, and, um, you know, I got, this is my preferred lamp for hunting. Uh, make sure you check your local laws before bringing any flashlight into the woods while hunting. But uh, these Energizer headlights, I was concerned because, you know, you watch a lot of YouTube videos about gear, blah, blah, blah. And you think that something's got to be uh, waterproof, moonproof, you know, using space age NASA technology. Uh, I've I've had no problems at all with these Energizer headlights, and they have they have been through the ringer with me. I've got them wet, brought them through rain, done nothing but step them into backpacks. Now I have noticed the push button style, like what this has right here, where it's a push push, is a lot more handy than the one that slide left and right. Now this one has uh, different modes. It has four total. You have that. Uh, it's a beam, a low beam flood, and then red. Now, what I like about this one compared to my old one, my old one that got ruined was a, a single, a single button. So you would have to, if you were in red, you would have to go through all the white modes before shutting it off, which would totally defeat the purpose of having that red mode, which is to retain your night vision. So in a way, this worked out well, because now I once again can have just red and then shut it back off again. The other, the other Energizer headlamp that I have has a slide switch, which that one did not hold up well. And I will show you that one here uh, in, in closing. And um, I'll show you what's wrong with it. But so far, uh, overview, this thing's worked out really well. It's a little bit bigger, but um, yeah. I like it. I like it so far. Now here's the other one that's that's messing up and I'll show you what's wrong with it. All right, so here is the old old one with the slider on the top which had the favorable, you know, you could go from red to off again as opposed to push 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 push. But it began messing up to where this this particular style of switch does not hold up well to the weather. The newer Energizer headlamps, of course, are, are much more weatherproof. I mean, it even advertises weatherproof. These these did not when they were new, you know, going for about 15 bucks. But it's what I like. Uh, that's not to say that those super-duper beam lights that we see the, the heroes of YouTube espousing aren't great and don't have their place. I mean, they can throw a, they can throw a spot beam bigger than, um, bigger than shit, right? But... Uh, to me, you, you got to go with what you're doing. You know, I don't require a lot of light in the woods. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a police officer or anything like that. You know, I just need a little bit of light. And, and if I don't need a light at all, you know, where I'm at in the woods, if the moon is bright enough or if my night vision is adjusted, I may not use a light at all. It's just where I'm at, you know. All right, thanks for watching. I figured you you would appreciate a nice little gear review, and um, you know why not get off running? Y'all be good.